Hello, my name is Deja, and I'm making this video today to talk about my baby last year. It's <coughs> something that I've been wanting to do for a long time now, and it's not gotten around to doing it. First of all, what a baby bat really is. It's kind of hard for me, at least, to describe. Uh, a baby bat is I would what I would describe as pre goth year and sometimes it's a phase for some people, other times not. <coughs> for me, my baby bat year started out as a bunch of trouble. Yeah. Um, I started out when I was about in the fourth grade and I got into a different type of music, I got into rock. And um I got into rock and I started dressing differently and I got the idea but I, I looked at this bell and I liked it and I started experimenting with it by myself. And uh, me only being in fourth grade I was like maybe eleven or ten or something. I really didn't know when I went on the internet and I was looking at stuff and then I came across what <coughs> we call it emo and then I started calling myself that's embarrassing kind of met. That was like my emo kid phase. I listened to a lot of punk music and I started selling my hair and then when I got older, probably like Sixth, seventh grade ish, and some of my eighth grade, I was in my single phase where I would like, like tease my hair a lot and uh, that wear like these colored skinny jeans and band shirts. <laughs> Hot chocolate was like my favorite thing, but my favorite place in the world to be. And I'll get band shirts and nice shirts coming from there, honestly. I would go in there and I, my favorite outfit to wear when I was a baby bat was I had like these species and they're black and pinkish purple, something like that. And I had some vanilla scarves but that uh vanilla scarves skinny jeans to go with it. And this Jerry T shirt that I got up hot topic and I had like plain black and purple. Yeah. So anyway. Um, as I got older, and this is just like recently, like just before my 16th birthday, which was in November 2011, I I started dressing better. I started researching it more, and before I really didn't know what goth really was, even though like I, everybody knows like the pre convict notation. And yeah, I, I even believed them at first. Like, yeah, people would call like email and then they got I'm like, I'm not goth because you know I'm a Christian or whatever. And then I was stupid. I didn't really know what it was. But I looked into it more on my 16th birthday. I got a Kindle, which is like one of my favorite prize possessions I have right now. And I finally got this book that I've been wanting to get for a really long time. It's called Gothic Trim School by Jillian Venter. And if you're a baby bad, or even if you're not a baby bad in your goth, or if you're interested in the gothic subculture, I would, like, so suggest your book because it touches me on, like, everything. And it's just really informal overall. Sorry, my camera's kind of shaking. I'm holding it in my hand. So, enjoying it. Yeah, but it, it's just amazing, and it really set me straight. And before I was anti-labeling, and and I realized, you know, that labeling isn't bad, and everybody should get over themselves because it's, it's nothing. It's not putting you on a box. It's just putting you in a certain group, and then you yourself. We just pretty much express yourself from there. Even though I really fit into like God. I wouldn't 
how do I describe it? Because someone asked, like, oh, you just got and like, well, yeah, I do. And it's like, are you got and like, yeah, pretty much. I mean, I like, I really like the fashion. I love wearing, like, boots and uh, neck stockings and black overall. I wear a lot of black and gray. I like painting my nose black. I like doing my lips black. And uh, usually a light. This is a really light look for me. I usually have really thick eyeliner and black eyeshadow that goes like all the way up. And I really like my my things like this. I used to have my things like long. I used to have like the sweep over fringe or whatever. I don't do that anymore. I cut my hair. I cut my things every few weeks because they grow back like a lot. <sighs> Sorry. Um, uh, I guess a way to tell, like, like, baby back composers, like, get, I guess they'll get mixed up because I guess they're kind of like the same, not really, but baby back, they really don't know how to dress yet. I can't really put on makeup very well. And. A lot of people are like mean to, well, the way people are mean to everybody. I mean, the emos, the scenes, like, all the gods, like, everyone thinks that they have like the better style, they, they're the most real, and everybody else is poser. So, really, I think that everybody should just be like nice to each other, even if you don't really understand them or whatever. Just common courtesy, you know, respect. Let's see. And I was a baby bad. I didn't I didn't really understand a lot of like the subculture, but now I do have like a, a better understanding of everything and I'm a lot older, I dress a lot nicer, I apply makeup very well as I do take on myself. For other baby bats, I would say just really just be yourself, dress how you like, and I know friends, like family or like parents don't really understand it, and when I was baby bat, I couldn't, so right now my parents just like, do white, all black, try colors, so I really don't like colors, try, and if they won't let you, just like, plan ahead for when you get older and you can like do whatever you want. I mean, when you get older, there's like no parents to tell you, you know, you can't dress like this or whatever. So just stay calm until you can fully express yourself. And yeah, when I was also when I was very bad, I couldn't really dress in black. Like, they would put limits on, like, how much black I could wear a week. Like, I couldn't wear, like, all black more than three days a week. I really need to, like, That's a lot better. Okay. Um, maybe, like, two or three days a week. <laughs> I don't mind like doing it anywhere. I used to, like, sneak clothes on my book bag and then change out, change out school, which turned out to be a bad idea because then I found out I got a lot of trouble. And my family, uh, it, they're just not really understanding like what gospel it is, but I think they're getting used to it since I'm, I'm 16 now. I'll be 17 in November this year. <coughs> I've been going at it since I was like fourth grade, and I'll be not a date. Some of it is, but some of it is. And especially for me, any other goths out there of color. <coughs> Excuse me. I know it's hard for us, especially because, um, just because, I mean, how often do you see a black gothic person? Not very often. And if they really are, their family, thought they're trying to hide it or something, like, I don't know. But it's true to you, yourself, who will make you happy. 
the only thing that really matters. Whatever makes you happy, do it. So that's pretty much all for now. My day that year, I probably won't think of like other stuff to make videos about. And yeah, bye.